hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time stopping by you are highly welcome please endeavor to subscribe to my youtube channel after watching this video if you have not done so already and when you subscribe you hit on the bell sign to get instant notification each time i upload a new video you'll be the first to come and watch it and to all my old subscribers thank you so much for the love thank you so much for the support so today's video is a cook with me video we are going to be making something special that you and i will like so if you are interested, keep watching to the end and let me show you the ingredient. So come with me, come with me, come with me. The door is open. Come, let me show you the ingredient. Then let's get started over here. So here are the ingredients for today's recipe. Over here, I have my red onions, my crayfish, beef liver, crayfish or dry prawn, frozen mushrooms, oyster bitter leaf, my water leaf. I just got this water leaf from the garden. It's looking so fresh. I just plucked it out from my garden. I have palm oil, bouillon powdered cube, salt. With me here, I have a thickener. I'm using of I'm using offer for thickener. But if you don't have offo, you can as well use ede. Some people will be like they don't use onions in making bitter leaf soup. Guys, there is no competition in cooking. As long as it tastes good for your family, go ahead and add onions. But if you feel that your test board does not accept onions on your bitter leaf, you can as well skip it. So let's head over to the stove and start cooking. So before we start cooking, let's slice our onions. So our onions is well sliced so like i said some people don't like adding onions to the bitter leaf it's optional but i'm a fan of onions but like i said if you don't like onions on your bitter leaf soup you can as well skip it so here is our onions so we are going to set it aside so now it is time for me to cut my mackerel cut the mackerel according to the size that you want. My husband does not like when I use a head of fish or head of mackerel to cook. You always want me to throw it away, but I'm a fan of head of fish. It keeps me busy whenever I'm cooking. So I'm done cutting it. I'm just going to take out the intestines before we wash it. So the head of fish, I'm going to take the, I don't know what this is called again. I always forget the name of this. <laughs> so I'm going to take it out because it has a lot of blood in there. I don't like it in my head of fish. So I'm done cutting the mackerel fish. I'm going to cut the beef liver I showed you guys. Cut it to your desired size as well. This is how I, this is how I chop mine because when you cut it too small to become too tiny in the pot, after you finish cooking, you'll be looking for the liver inside the spot. So just try as much as possible to cut it on the medium size or medium shape. So here is the liver. I'm going to wash it now. Make sure you wash it very well before using. So this is the third time of washing the liver. At this point, the liver is well washed. I'm just going to put it inside this plate. And I will set it aside. I'm going to wash the fish as well. So let me continue washing it. I'll bring you guys back when I'm done washing it. Let me set the fish aside, then I'll wash the oyster meat. Here is the oyster. I'll be using this uh, white vinegar to wash the oyster. I 
I will add a little bit of salt to wash it. So when you add your vinegar and the salt, make sure you use your two hands to rub it very well in order for the oyster to wash properly. So let me concentrate and wash the oyster. When I'm done washing it, then we'll start cooking. So over to our pot. Here is the oyster properly washed. I'm just going to transfer it into the pot. So I'm going to add the liver now. I will add the, the bouillon cube. This is powdered bouillon cube. I'll add a pinch of salt because bitter leaf does not require much salt. I'll add my sliced onions. It's very hard for me to boil meat without adding onions. So like I said, if you don't like onions on your bitter leaf recipe, don't add onions to it. So I'm going to so I'm going to add water to it. Then I'll cover it up and allow to cook. So while the meat is cooking, let's go ahead and wash our water leaf. So I will start by taking them out like this. This one is not useful. You see, just going to plug it, plug it, and plug it. I have some frozen water leaf that I stored in my fridge, but I don't want to use it. That was why I went outside to plug this one. Uh, and I don't think I'll be making use of it all but let's see how it goes if I can't use it I'll just put the rest in the freezer and please ignore any noise you hear from the background my kids are here playing this is real life immediately I set up my tripod to start filming Jeremiah just woke up <laughs> Immediately, I just say hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Jeremiah and I said, like seriously, you want to film? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is life of a YouTuber, especially when you have kids. It's not easy making video with kids. By the time you finish setting yourself, arranging yourself, just balance to talk. That is when your kids will want attention. Anyway, that is by the way. Let me just go ahead. I concentrate to this water leaf when I'm done I'll bring you guys back to show you what next to do meanwhile the meat is still on the stove cooking So here are the water leaves. I finished washing them. I'm just going to cut them into smaller pieces or into small bites. So get as much as you can. Water leaf does not take time to cut. When you are done cutting it, to transfer it on the bowl. Repeat the process until you are done cutting the water leaf. So I'm done cutting the water leaf I'm going to wash it out I'm going to wash it so that the sliminess of the water leaf will be reduced because I don't want excess water in the soup
so here is the water leaf as you can see I have reduced the excess sliminess and the excess water so let's head over to the stove and check on the meat so the meat is cooked now I'm just going to test for salt and for cubes perfect I'm going to add palm oil going to add crayfish so I'm going to add the blended peppers then I will add the thickener Just keep adding the thickener as you are adding, keep stirring it so that you will not have lumps after cooking. <laughs> Jeremiah, what is the problem? So when you are done adding the offer or any thickener of your choice, at this point you can go ahead and add the cocoa yam, the oatmeal, the offo, anything you have, this is the time you will add it so that it will start cooking right away. So I'm just going to cover it up and allow it to cook for 3 minutes. So let's check back on our soup. At this point, I'm going to add the mushrooms. I'll add the fish. I grew the fish. Then I will add the bitter leaf. So stir it very well until everything is properly mixed. So cover it up and allow to cook for extra 3 minutes. Let's check back on our pot of soup. Wow! This is looking so sumptuous. I'm going to test for salt and for cube. Perfect. At this point, I'm going to introduce my water leaf. If you have dry bitter leaf, and you want the bitter leaf to be softened, this is the best method. Add extra water leaf if you have any to revive your to revive your dried bitter leaf. So I'm just going to stir it. As you can see, I did not add all the water leaf that I washed. Look at what is remaining. So I'm just going to stir it up. I tested for salt initially and uh, some cube. I needed to add a little, so I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of the cube. But I'm not adding salt to it. I'm so sorry, my kids are all over me here. The noise is becoming too tense. <laughs> okay, you guys can hear him from the background. So stir it up. Cover it up and allow it to cook for extra two minutes because you don't want it to be overcooked. So let's check back on our soup. Wow, this soup tastes so good. So guys, that is it for this video. Our recipe is done, bitter leaf and water leaf recipe. Like I said, if you have dried bitter leaf and you want to revive it, and then you have a water leaf at hand, just go ahead and add it into the pot of soup. It will make the dry bitter leaf to come back to life. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you like this video and I hope you give it a try. 
if you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family just take a look at this soup you can enjoy this soup with any swallow of your choice you can use fufu you can just eat it the way it is ever semolina just literally anything you lay your hands on so that will be all for this video guys if you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i hope you try it for your family and friend and tell me and let me know how it turns out for you thank you so much for watching today's video i will see you guys in my next video